What's up, guys? So, today was a pretty good day. Uh, I woke up, and it was just one of those days where I felt like getting shit done. I, I, I started living my life on a days that I feel like getting sh shit done basis. Like, I'll just do nothing for days at a time, and then I'll just have days where I wake up, and I just get so much shit done. I just, I just, I just have days where my body's just like, alright, dude, today's is just fucking happening. So that's what I did, and I and I did and that. Today was that was that day out of every month or so that it happens, and uh, I had just got back from my just day of doing shit out, and uh, I actually I treated myself to a new video card. Uh, it's a it's a Radeon seventy nine seventy, and uh, it's pretty nice. I've been, I've been messing around with it a little bit, but I had just finished installing it and setting up all the drivers and setting up my monitors and everything um, when I decided to just take a break real fast and uh, roll a joint and just, you know, watch something on Netflix. So I ended up not watching something on Netflix. Instead, I decided to go outside, which is rare. I usually don't smoke outside because I don't really care about how my house smells as long as it's not fucking cigarettes. But you know this you know that was it was just about 12 a.m. and uh this was i'm keep, i'm saving it this was the joint that i had i didn't i didn't actually finish it when i had uh, looked over across from the plaza that i live on on the other side of it and uh i saw this little guy Yeah? Fuck yeah, huh? Oh god. He he doesn't like being picked up. But I found Casey. Huh? What kind of shit is that? So the moral of the story is weed made me found find my cat. And I know it seems like that's why I saved the joint because I thought you guys wouldn't believe me. But then I thought I could have this could just be in, but I don't know how to more prove that that was what happened, <laughs> but it, it was pretty cool. I was pretty happy about it, and uh, so yeah, now Casey's back, and uh, yeah, he was just sitting there in the window, and I just saw like a cat looking back at me, and I was like, is that my cat? And it was a mix of me being, like, I wasn't quite sure, I was like, I was like Fry, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was just high, <laughs> and uh, so I, I get closer, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's my fucking cat. Um, but my neighbors to the right of me were out on their porch. They still are. This was about 40 minutes ago. They still, they're still out there. And they were, they had said something to me, and I don't know, I just waved at them. And, but they watched me, you know, in the middle of the night walk across up the stairs to some dude's apartment and, like, fuck with, supposedly, what, what, what I, what they probably assumed was his cat through the, uh, Oh, one second. Casey wants out of my room. Of what I assume was... Of what I assume they assume was their... Was this guy's cat. They just saw me up there fucking with it. But then I knocked on the door and I was like, Hey, you know, I'm sorry for waking you up, but... You have my fucking cat. And then Casey... <laughs> before I could finish saying everything, Casey ran out and... So now my I have my cat back. But... There is something I want to show you guys. And this is something that was given to me by my girlfriend uh, as a gift when I lost Casey. And you guys haven't met her yet, but her name's Siri, and I will show her to you. She's sleeping right now. little pouch I got for her. She's sleeping, but... You'll notice that... Well, it's a sugar glider, for those that don't know, but for those... But for those who know anything about sugar gliders, they know that they're nocturnal, but it is obviously nighttime out outside. She's on my schedule, which is kind of cool. We've kind of met in the middle, because I'm up at night as well. But she's usually supposed to wake up a couple hours from now. 
For those that don't know, they're basically like little flying squirrels. Except they're very loving. And they're very they're 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 extremely smart as well. And I've had her for a little over a month now. And it is safe to say she's pretty bonded to me. But yeah, they do glide places. Here I'll try to Yeah. Show you her arms. See it's some of that shit. You get some of that shit. So they just spread out their arms and they just fly. They just she just chills. It's good times. Like she'll chill in my they're marsupials, so they're used to being in the pouch. And uh they're so I I have this pouch. Uh, but a pocket works just as well. And uh I got her a little cage here with a wheel that, that she's that she's filling. She didn't get the wheel at first. <laughs> she would eat shit. She didn't understand the concept of just slowing down, so she would run on it and then just decide that it was time to just just fall on her face. And that's what she would do. So, but it it was bad at first because it was a sand wheel because I I used it to trim her nails. It was like an optional insert that I put in there. But she spent about a full day or two just working out how to I mean, she's still a baby. She's only about 6 months old. They live 15 they live approximately 15 years in captivity and um, I want to say seven years in the wild pretty sure that was it so yeah they're pretty cool and uh, she chills in my pocket all day like she does she's never not with me whenever I leave the house she chills in my pocket and she usually just sleeps in there sometimes she just comes out and chills on my shoulder they that sometimes they'll give me shit about like ha for having her in the store but she doesn't bother anybody she just she just stays there. It's like a parrot, except sweeter. It's like a sweeter parrot. Wonder if she's interested. In... Ah, are you interested in the pouch? She is not. Looks like Casey wants my attention. I should I should be going tomorrow. I here I'll give you a little sneak peek. I got I got a bunch of posters that I put up. So if I can get my head into the frame. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I'm also in a new chair. Mainly because my last chair, it wasn't mine. I inherited it. I didn't pick it out, but it 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 started hurting my back pretty bad. Because people like chairs that are leaned back. It seems most people most people like those types of chairs, but I like the ones that are uh, I like the ones that have the more support on the back. Like even in cars, I don't I don't understand how most people can lean all the way back and then have their hands all the way stretched out all the time. I don't see how that's comfortable. But a lot of people like to drive like that. I like to sit a little bit closer, you know. But I don't understand how you're supposed to like play a game all the time with your hands all the way out, you know. If you want to be leaned back all against the chair, you're like Frankensteining it up. So, what you want in a good chair is, from just from my experience, you want the arm things to, they, you want them to be flat so they can kind of like get over the desk a little bit so they don't block the desk while you're, you know, scooting in. So if they need to go over it, that's fine. They don't need to be movable like these ones are, because you can just... Uh, like move the chair up until the arms until the arms align see and then she just goes in the pouch it's good times make sure if you do get a sugar glider you have the time to be with them because they will die of loneliness they actually they, I'm not that's not a joke they really will so I do not recommend it if you do not have if you're not if you don't if you not if you do not have a lifestyle similar to mine. But if you do really want one, you can get two of them, because you can get them a companion and that'll work. But that's the pussy way out. Who has two sugar gliders? That just means you're not around enough. So yeah. I'm going to play some fucking World of Warcraft. For those that want to meet me on the Phoenix server, 
don't because that's sort of my reason for playing over there. But I play on the Alliance side on the Warsong Realm. My name is Yubi, U-B-I, short for Ubiquitous. It was in, uh, it's uh, sort of a tribute to Ubiquitous of Cess Crew. I like him. I like some of his stuff, not all of it. He's a little awkward sometimes. But for the most part, he's pretty fucking good. I like him. Uh, See, so yeah, I'll probably make a video tomorrow showing like my posters and all that that I got. And, uh, yeah. No, but seriously, I prefer... I mean, that's just letting you know where I am on the server. Please don't like come to me asking me questions and stuff. Because I'll probably just get pissy with you. Because sort of my main reason for being over there and not being under a form of Nolly or Elysian or one of my previous character names is because I want to see what it's like to be able to play without having to be Nolly or Elysian which may sound a little cocky but it's true and I like it I like I like the anonymity and I'm not a tank I'm a DPS I'm a mage so I just not only do I have the anon like the like the I have that I have the weight of being known taken off my shoulders but I also have uh I don't have to be a tank or anything. I can just sit back. <laughs> like, I never listen to... Like, from now on, I will never, ever listen again any time a DPS bitches because it's you just have it so easy all the time. It's ridiculous. Shut the fuck up. Mm, what else? So, yeah. My name's Yubi over there. Yubi. Gnome Mage. I wish there were more U U.S. guilds over there. Preferably ones that were in Nax. This is getting off into nothing. I'm going to go now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go play more World of Warcrafts. And I'm going to go put Siri back in her cage. And uh, I'm probably going to finish my joint. No, I'm going to keep it. And then... Probably going to hang out with Casey or something. I don't know. Alright, that, that, that's, that's all I have to say in this one. See you guys later.